William Gillette was the aquiline and actual embodiment of Holmes himself. You are about to hear a short reenactment of one of the most famous characterizations in the history of the American... Thank you. You can get me one, Captain. Say, come and sit by me to change my luck. Well, stop oh. talking. I'm going to... Mr. Holmes, it isn't fair. No machine can give you everything. No, my dear. That's why I shall keep on using this old... You'll have to wait here. We're not going to let you go in a place like this alone. You must really. I'll be all right. So we meet again. No, I shouldn't do that if I were you, Colonel Kavanaugh. I must congratulate you, Mr. Holmes. You're far more clever than I thought. Thank you, Mrs. Courtney. Well, this maniac fellow adds a bit of burglary too, do you see? Burglary? So eh? he can get hold of these images he wants to smash. Oh, really? Do just pass the tobacco, would you, my dear fellow? Yes, of course. Thank you. It, it must Not be okay. Napoleon. Mm -hmm. I... Some gratuitous nonsense has been written on the subject by persons possessing no factual knowledge whatever. Were Holmes' remarkable what character... What is he shared with Dr. Watson? A knock on the door. By a stranger, of course. I quite agree with you, Holmes. Any individual owes a great deal of his gifts, if he has any, to his ancestry, uh, to heredity. But what about your own case? My case, Watson? Well, from all you've ever told me, it seems obvious that you're remarkable. Watson, old man! <laughs> Hello, how have you been? It's good to see you. Not as well as you, obviously. You look great, old man. <laughs> Yes, the greatest only... story ever written by one of the world's greatest storytellers, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's classic masterpiece of mystery, suspense, and horror, The Hound of the Baskervilles. Come in. Come in, Sherlock. Dr. Watson. Sit down. You're looking very fit, both of you. Thank you. How are you, Mycroft? How's your gout? Under control, except for an occasional twinge. I've got a treat for you. Very old Madeira. 18... Right, and you're too young for a major, and so I should gauge you're a captain. Well, I'll be... Right. Sir, I'm a maid. Show him in. Home Secretary, please try to be discreet for once. It isn't going to be easy. Mr. Mycroft Holmes will certainly... <laughs> It was no accident, Watson. Moriarty and his henchmen fell upon me from behind. Oh. But... Ellie, Ellie. How did you get here before us? 
By trying to think where they would hide Fräulein Devereaux, if as you posited they would no longer use the original hiding place. At your service. I can well imagine the profundity of your disappointment, Professor Moriarty. And you cannot fail to realize that there can only be one explanation for my having successfully penetrated the most carefully concealed lodgings. Sitting here, reading. In such a bizarre fashion, more important still, who killed Makers and why? Постарайтесь не уснуть. От этого зависит ваша жизнь. И приготовьте револьвер. Scream. I ran to his room and found him, yes, cowering yes. in the corner. She's got him out of the box. Ain't it quite likely she sent him to the girl as he wants to know? Well, make Watson, it? what do you make of it? How did you know what I was doing? You must have eyes in the back of your head. I have at least a highly polished coffee pot in front of me. The James Mortimer MRCS from his friends at the CCH 1884. Since we were out when the owner of that stick called last night, and since we have no notion of his errand, this accidental souvenir becomes of importance. You've examined it. Let me hear you reconstruct the man. Uh, ...to call the mystery of the manor house. It was November in the year 1871. I was there barely 17 years ago. I was merely creating a little excitement to ease the boredom of inactivity. What do you use our brain? Morson's disappearance. Questions that hopefully our expedition this morning will answer. Um, a four-wheeler has just arrived. You're the new boy? Yes, I transferred from another school. My name's... Wait. Let me... Your name is James Watson. You're from the north of England. That was very interesting, actually. There was fresh dirt in the building next door. Um, would you like to elaborate on that, sir? It was an elementary deduction based on the clues at hand. Anyway, I'm glad I ran into you. And so am I. I'm afraid I've not... of April 1900, and the crowds were gathered at Newgate Prison for a rather gruesome event. Was a friend? One of my oldest. A mentor for a lot of us. I can't see how you knew that I was at Carmen or what seat I was in. I haven't any ticket stubs showing anywhere. The devil with your back. Well, Watson? What do you make of it? It was left at the door last night while we were out. Ah. To Dr. James Mortimer, am I... It's over.
seven and a half pounds since last we met. Half a stone, exactly. The distinctive yellow of the London stock brick, which suggests you have been in the vicinity of the Lewisham brickworks. I've just come from Inspector Burrow's house. He lives two streets away. He was found dead tonight in his own. So you're free this evening? Absolutely. Dinner? Wonderful. The Royale? My favorite. Mary's coming. Is it on your foot? Yes. <laughs> it's very good of you, you know, to come in every day. <laughs> so you still don't believe in monsters? The only monsters I believe in look very much like you or I. Who are you? What do you do? What do you think? I'd say private detective. When the police are out of their depth, they consult me. Got anything? This is his hunting ground, right here in the heart of the city. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're an idiot. This is my friend, John Watson. Friend? Colleague. That's how you get your kicks, isn't it? You risk your life to prove you're clever. Shut up. I'm saying you were thinking. of other people's sensitivities to exhibiting all the traits that might commonly be grouped what possible motive could that German woman have had to kill Anne that night I searched for something to jog my memory of the actual case <laughs> 